Pleased to meet you. And uh, so Greg's responsible. You'll often see him late in the evening with students sitting down, and on his face he's smiling, but his mind is saying, I want to go home. <laughs> but he's helping these kids because they're very keen to get jobs, and we, while we don't guarantee them jobs, we will give them all the advice, we'll make the contacts for them, although usually we encourage them to make the first contact themselves because most employers want to speak face to face. So, mm. Well, it's yeah. a friendly country to work in. Plenty of opportunities here to find work. And uh, it's all a matter of confidence. If we can give the students enough confidence to feel good about applying for jobs, I and mean, then that's a great thing. And there's no better experience than to, no better way to practice listening and speaking especially than to work here. And travelling also is great because you meet lots of people. But working is a terrific way to, you know, to practice the, uh, English as a second language. Yeah. When do they usually work? Where? Jobs? Where do they work? Jobs, restaurants? It depends, yeah. can be. It depends on the skills they have already gained in their home countries. Mm -hmm. So some people will come with uh, special skills which help them to get different kinds of jobs but a lot of people certainly get jobs in uh, in tourist areas perhaps in hotels or restaurants or ski fields uh, or on the lakes and rivers perhaps doing adventure holiday company jobs um, and so there are a lot of different types of opportunities but if they are professional people and if they have a good English language level it is possible to get uh, a, perhaps a more senior position yeah. it depends yeah. Centre is probably a good example of yeah. that, with yeah. his veterinary qualifications. Yes, that's right. Um, yeah. and so, uh, one of our students from Chile, who was a vet, very, very poor English when he came here, and he was with us for about, what, four months? Yep. And now uh, he's working in a very, very good job, and he probably will stay here forever, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, in the school, and um, but three weeks ought to be enough time to, uh, to become familiar with what's expected in, for example, job interviews and making business phone calls, writing business letters, and being able to communicate and learn business English. That's enough time, and it's, uh, usually it's a big help. But usually the students have done at least four weeks of a general English course first, and then they move on to it as a sort of an option.